George was playing with his new toy dinosaur, while Peppa was watching YouTube on her iPad, when George had a slightly uncomfortable feeling. <coughs> Peppa stood up in her bed and said, George, was that you? And George said, no, it, it was my dinosaur. Then, George put on his dinosaur hat and went back playing with his new toy. Well, it wasn't long before George had the same feeling again, and he let off a few more farts. <coughs> this time, Peppa stood up and said, George, that's definitely you stinking up the room, not the dinosaur. If you have to go poo, you should go and do that. But George answered, What about my toy dinosaur? I don't want anyone to play with it while I'm in the toilet. And Peppa said, Don't worry, George. I'll make sure no one plays with your toy dinosaur when you're taking a poo. So George told his dinosaur to wait up because he'd be right back. When George arrived in the bathroom, he thought, I've done this before. Maybe I can do this alone now. So he hopped up on the toilet and began to take a poo. Poo-poo time was going well, but then George thought he heard some laughter coming from the bedroom. He wanted to hurry up, so he pushed a little harder. But then he heard even more laughter. And he started to imagine what was going on in the bedroom. Maybe, George thought, Peppa is playing with my toy dinosaur. And maybe she's even wearing my dinosaur hat so that the dinosaur thinks that she's me. And maybe Super Mario showed up from the Mushroom Kingdom. And he brought one of those mushrooms that when you eat, you grow really big. And maybe my toy dinosaur ate the mushroom, turned into a super big dinosaur, and now everybody is having fun in my bedroom. So George jumped off the toilet and ran back to his bedroom. But when George returned, everything was still the same. His dinosaur was right where he left him, and Peppa was still watching YouTube on her bed. So he went back to playing with his toy dinosaur, when Peppa stood up and said, George, did you take a good poo? And what's that smell? There's something stinky in this room. <coughs> and George said, really? I can't smell anything. Maybe it's just your imagination. So Peppa went back to watching YouTube videos when she found a really funny episode of Lemon Pie Land and she started to laugh. But then she noticed that she had to go pee. But then Peppa thought, I can hold it in a little longer. I'm having way too much fun to stop now. So she went back to watching and laughing at her favorite YouTube episodes. But then, the feeling came back even stronger. She really had to go pee. So Peppa decided to watch only one more episode and then go to the bathroom. But the episode was so funny, she accidentally peed her pants. And just then, Mummy Pig showed up in the bedroom and she said, it's kind of stinky in here. Do either of you have something you want to tell me? And Peppa replied, It's definitely not me. Maybe you want to ask George. Then George quickly took a step back and said, It's definitely not me either. It's probably this dinosaur. So Mummy said, Well, if you have nothing to tell me, I guess I'll be gone. And she left the room. Peppa and George went back to their activities, pretending that nothing had happened. Even though, the room was now getting really stinky. <coughs> but a short time later, a special agent from the potty police showed up. And she wanted to get to the bottom of this stinky problem. So she went up to George and started her investigation by asking him, Did you use the toilet recently? And George replied, Yeah, I took a poo, and everything went well. Really? said the potty police. Why don't you turn around? So George slowly turned around, 
And that's when the potty police spotted the unfinished poo. And she said, George, you haven't finished pooing yet. That's why this room is so stinky. And George answered, but it wasn't my fault. When I was on the toilet, I thought Super Mario came to visit me. So I had to run back here. But the potty police replied, George, you have to finish taking your poo before you play. Come on, let's go back to the bathroom and finish the job. So George and the potty police entered the bathroom. And the potty police said, George, when you're taking a poo, don't think about anything else. Just concentrate on what you're doing and try to finish the job. So George got onto the toilet again and tried to push out some poo. And the potty police said, Don't push out too hard. Just try to relax and it will usually come out on its own. After a short while, George looked over and said, Okay, I think I'm done now. But the potty police said, You're not done until you finish the paperwork. And she handed him a bundle of toilet paper so he could wipe his bum. George did a really good job wiping his bum. And then he threw the dirty toilet paper into the toilet and gave it a flush. Afterwards, George washed his hands with soap and the potty police said she was really impressed at his toilet training. Next, the potty police returned to the bedroom so she could talk to Peppa. But Peppa said, I'm already toilet trained, so there's no problem here. But the potty police wanted to take a closer look, so she said, Can I have a peek behind your iPad? And Peppa thought, Maybe all the pee is dried up now, and I won't get in trouble. But when she removed her iPad, there was still a giant pee stain on her dress. So Peppa said, It wasn't my fault. I had to go pee. But then I watched a really funny YouTube video and I accidentally peed my pants. And the potty police answered, Peppa, when you feel like you have to go pee, don't wait. Go straight to the toilet and you'll avoid having accidents. So Peppa went to the bathroom to finish taking her pee. In the bathroom, the potty police told Peppa, when you have to go pee, don't worry about your YouTube videos. You can always put them on pause and watch them later. So Peppa got onto the toilet and took a nice long pee. After she was done, she flushed the toilet, washed her hands, and then went to the laundry room to change her clothes. George was already waiting for them in the laundry room. And the potty police said, When you have an accident, you have to change into clean clothes and put your old ones into the washing machine. So Peppa and George changed their clothes and the potty police was very happy. Well guys, if you enjoyed watching this toilet training episode, give this video a thumbs up right now. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.